Good morning, Jason! <laughs> it's afternoon. Yeah, it's pretty late now. Today's video is taking a drastic turn in a direction that I did not think that it was gonna go. So I decided to just start vlogging because I wasn't even gonna vlog until later today, but then some stuff came up. So we're actually replacing the radiator on an old friend of mine's car who you guys will see in a second. If you guys have been watching for a while, you'll probably remember him. We have a little bit of work to do and I'm gonna explain it all very shortly. So some of you guys that have been watching for a while will remember my friend Drew. What's up, Drew? This wasn't how I wanted to come back to the channel, but yeah. here I am. Hey, it, <laughs> it's fitting for my channel, okay? <laughs> That's fair. So today Drew came by, and I wasn't even going to put this in a vlog at first because he just needed to change his oil. And so what even happened here? So he was jacking it up from the jack point, and then the car like slipped off of the edge of the jack. I think the jack didn't roll properly, like it's supposed to roll as the car goes up. But uh, when that happened, it hit this uh, this little lower radiator support beam and it kind of bent this thing right here and it messed up the radiator and it cracked it a little bit and there was some coolant coming out. And so now we're having to replace the radiator, which is just fantastic. Just goes to show the easiest jobs can always go wrong. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so my only other alternative for a video today was to do another mod on the GTI. I'm still waiting for some of the airline fittings to come in, so there wasn't even much that I could do. So it kind of worked out that we ended up vlogging about this. But yeah, I'm just kind of improvising because I've never done a radiator on this car, but I've changed radiators before. So hopefully we can uh, we can get this done. Then it won't be too much of a hassle because it's already been enough of a hassle. Should also make sure I'm going the right way. So let's see if I'm upside down. That's right. That's left. I need to go. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll see how much actually comes out. <laughs> Hopefully most of it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Got her. Dude, looks like Mountain Dew. The epic gamer that you are, I would not be surprised if your car had <laughs> Mountain Dew in the, in, as coolant. <laughs> but by the way, if yeah. you guys are into gaming and also cars and like simulation type games and stuff, that is like Drew's specialty, That's so what check I out do. his channel. I also, I'm trying to get more into car stuff on my channel, but as you can see, when I try and do car stuff, this is what happens. So. Yeah, you got some bad luck. <laughs> you and Jason both. Just terrible <laughs> luck with your cars. Yeah, and I always end up fixing them. I'm paying like half a penny every day for the rest of my life yeah. for this labor. Basically, which, I mean, totally worth it. Your soul is basically mine. Yeah. Because I'm going to immortalize you on the internet. <laughs> and then I will just reap the benefits of you yeah. for eternity. <laughs> exactly. My great 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 grandchildren will get like ad revenue from this. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know how that works. What happens when YouTubers die? I don't think we've gotten to that point yet. I think I think there's been a few maybe, but I don't know what I don't know what happened then. Yeah. I don't know if their channels were just like Does YouTube just consume yeah. their <laughs> their money? They just absorb know. it all? That's a weird actually. That's I was making a joke at first, but now I'm kind of concerned. Yeah, now I'm I'm <laughs> concerned and curious. I would like to know what what happens. Thank you, sir. Videoception, once again. <laughs> there we, there we go. go. All right, and now. Oh my God. Oh, this is a true collab. Oh yeah, this is collabing at its best. All right, all right. Now slide. Oh wait, we gotta wiggle like this. <laughs> okay, wait. Oh, all right, what was it gonna have to squeeze? All right, I'm just gonna let you take over. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> You know, people always say they're gonna work on their cars together, but like we actually just worked on the yeah, car together, get it fully together. Yeah. We got this done draining. Went ahead and put the plug back in it. So now Drew right, is gonna do do us all a favor and pop that guy off of there. I don't actually know if I'm doing anything, but it feels like I am. There we go. This little plug can. I thought that was separate. Uh, well, separate? it should plug into the fan. Yeah. I know, but the fans are separate from the radiator. I thought we were gonna pull the whole thing out because we're gonna have to put the fans on the new radiator. Oh, that's a fair point. <laughs> How do you get those out so easily? Just with Caden, a bit show of, me your ways. A little bit of love. <laughs> I can never get these things out. Why does nothing ever work for me? <laughs> yes, sir. Look at that. That was like 10 minutes. This thing actually doesn't look like it got I hit think, too bad. It got AC hit right at the bottom. Okay. That's what it's called. The camera. There we go. AC <laughs> condenser? Yeah. I was trying earlier to figure out the name of it. See, like, I was expecting you to, like, say it. Right. And then I never thought of it, and you never said it until now. That's, so. like, my thing. Like, all the... So, I worked in a <laughs> shop, but, like, I still don't know... I don't have that much aftermarket part knowledge, so, like, there's a freaking plane, of course. Can you please go away? All my friends know all these different terms for like aftermarket things that I just don't know what they're talking about. But then they're like, this thing right here. And I'm like, you mean the AC condenser? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> that happens oh. a lot more than you'd think. I, uh, I have an idea. You might not like it very much, <laughs> but it's an idea. 
I mean, at this point, I'll take anything. <laughs> so you see how there's that center point where it's like up high? Yeah. I'm thinking that I could put something on it and then stand on it and try to bend it back a little bit. Yeah. To give us a little more clearance. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I was thinking we could probably find some way to at least bend that a little bit. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm willing to I'm willing right. to give that a try. Let me brainstorm for a minute. You had a leaf in your radiator or what? <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a leaf block in the radiator. Dude, but Jason's gonna get a kick out of this. As a matter of yeah. fact, that was that actually was the problem. The whole it wasn't that the jack slipped, it was that that leaf just it uh, just got in there yeah. and dented everything. <laughs> Destroyed the radiator. Yeah, it was a mess. Alright, so we'll do a little bit of um scientific explanation here. So this right here is the subframe, and then this is like the lower radiator slash AC condenser holding mounting bracket thingy goodness so i've put a crescent wrench right there and i'm gonna put all of this mass on top of that and then i'll get on your shoulders yes if it's not enough then <laughs> we will sit on my shoulders and then if that's not enough we have jason to get on both of our shoulders yes so we'll yeah. just have a little man pyramid <laughs> kind of like you do in the pool sometimes right yeah, yeah exactly yeah, exactly <laughs> so uh we're gonna try this hopefully i don't hurt myself i think i'll be okay I was gonna say but i'm gonna climb inside of your engine bay please do I'm sure my engine bay will, will enjoy it. That's kinky. <laughs> that's, that's the grossest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> and I sat in the car with Jason. I'm gonna be honest, you might just bend your, your wrench. <laughs> Maybe. I, it doesn't look like it's doing much. Well, crap. It, it was I worth a try. I though. thought I was fatter than that. <laughs> Very nice. No! Okay, yeah, no, let's definitely. try something else. Man, that is really bent to shit. So, what do we have? Look so at this. Got... The bracket right there is... Oh. It's a rainbow now. Is that not supposed to be all pretty rainbowy? No. no unfortunately that's unfortunate. not. It's supposed to be more aggressive. Also, the front is... Uh... This, this thing is uh, not supposed to look like that. Oh, you mean that is not supposed to be bent to absolute hell? No. Not quite. Not, not entirely. How do I not have a pry bar? How do you not have a pry bar? I don't know. I didn't even have drill bits. I had to go to the store to buy drill bits in the last episode. <laughs> That's true. All right, so I just absolutely manhandled this guy down here and I just put my whole body weight onto it. I like how when I stood on it, I wasn't able to get it to bend and then I just used my bare hands and I bent it down like half an inch. But we managed to get the AC condenser to fit back on this little clip right here. So now I think we're gonna transfer the fan over to the new radiator and just go ahead and pop the new one in as best we can. Yeah, I'll hope, it, to... hope it fits, fingers crossed. Yeah, we might have to do some zip tie action, but we're, we're it's making progress. It's not a project car without zip ties. Exactly. It all started with very bad noise. Yep. Yeah, what, and a really what, dumb what argument. What were you guys doing at the time that that happened? Like, we were trying I to was, figure I out. I was just like, oh shit. But I didn't, I didn't like even look to see what you guys were doing and if you guys were like, oh shit, or if you guys were like, like had no idea. I had no idea. Like <laughs> we were, uh, I was giving Jason hella shit for having his oil in the oil pan because That's right. <laughs> he has to do his refund thing. And he was like, I can't just reuse my new, uh, my new oil containers for the old oil. I have to save that. And I was oh. like, well, I need your oil out of my freaking oil pan. So and then I guess... all of a sudden we just hear dunk. And I was like, what? Oh man, it's so heavy. <laughs> Where's the hole? <laughs> you seem to ask that question a lot. <laughs> You're not wrong. I'm a virgin, bro. <laughs> All right, so for those of you that saw the last episode where I had some issues trying to install the bags on the GTI, this is Pablo, this is his car. Um, so he's leaving this Integra that he's borrowing from our friend Taylor. He's dropping that off here because he needs to take the GTI back for a little bit. So now I'm juggling the Integra. Unfortunately, we won't be doing the bags for probably another week or two, so I don't even know when that video series will continue, but it will continue at some point. There's just a whole mess of situations. I honestly think my neighbors probably hate my guts right now because there are just so many cars all around the house. It's a disaster. It's another example of why the neighbors hate me. Jason's car is loud now too. Yeah, this isn't going to be loud. It's just warm Your out. Your car's loud too. Yeah, yeah it's, warm. it's still loud though. I hear you leave every morning. <laughs>
not, dude. Take it back Have fun with the GTI. I will. You guys enjoy the Integra. I will. <laughs> Don't crash it. <laughs> I might make a vlog about it. Don't Maybe crash. I'll make a, uh, a cringe review of it or something. All right, so haven't updated the vlog in a little bit, but we basically just put our heads down and got this in as best we could. Of course, that little support bar is crooked, so the radiator is temporarily held on with like a zip tie contraption here, but it's in here pretty, pretty solid. We got all the lines reconnected and uh, got the coolant back in there. So Drew, today was an unfortunate day. Sorry <laughs> about it, but uh, okay. it happens. Happens sometimes. All right guys, so after that I didn't pick up the camera, but basically Drew ended up driving the car home. He was able to get it there. And then today, the day that I'm recording this at least, he actually got a new core support for the radiator. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go and help him install it. So eventually his car will be back on the channel, I'm sure maybe for like a car meet or something, but we were able to successfully get his car back to his house. So luckily everything turned out all right. And this video was kind of random, but I felt like it was vlog content worthy. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, be sure to leave a like down below. It really helps out the channel when you guys do that. And if you want to, be sure to subscribe for more car content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and dream big.